All right, we have another beautiful chair here. This is a Permobil F3 power chair, front wheel drive. This power chair has seven miles. It was used less than a week. It's the color is, is matte black. Everything is black. It really looks, really looks sharp. Uh, as I said, this chair has seven miles. It has the electric tilt, the electric recline, and the electric feet. This one only has three functions, no seat lift. Electric tilt, electric recline, electric feet, and there's other things we'll cover as we go along. So all the features on this chair, if you want to work the seat up and down or whatever, you can do it through the joystick or through the switch box. I like to use a switch box, it's quicker for me. So the second button on here is the tilt. The tilt is when the base right here goes back. So if you watch the base, it starts going back. You're gonna start roughly at 22 inches, and by the time you're all the way back, I'm sorry folks, you're, not gonna, you're gonna be at 22 inches when you're down. And now we're tilting back. This is good for if you want to take pressure off your bottom, pressure off your back. You just want to relax or get some circulation in your legs. The next feature I'm going to show you are the electric legs or the electric feet. If you wanted some really good circulation, I want to show you what it looks like. Um, this would be a little extreme, but I want you to see what it looks like. So you can actually have your feet way up in the air. All right. I'm going to bring this seat back down halfway so you can see. Halfway down. Even if you're halfway down, look, your feet are still higher than your body. Okay? So I'm going to bring the tilt all the way back down. And now the next, the last feature, which is the recline, I'm going to make the back go back. So this is called recline right here. If I hit the right button, that would help. So now the back is going back, okay? This is called electric recline. Nothing is moving in the chair, but this portion right here going back. So I just want to show you how far back it's going to go. So if you wanted to relax in this chair and you want to go all the way back, um, I just want to show you what it would look like. So this is pretty much a flat all the way down, yep. Okay? These arms can be flipped up, so if you transfer from the side, they go all the way up to here, both sides, okay? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring the recline back up and the legs back down. I'm doing two buttons at once to save time. And then we're going to talk about the base here in a minute. So the legs are coming down. So if you're outside, folks, leave your legs out a little bit uh, so you have a little more clearance under those legs. Like I would leave it probably outside, somewhere around there. I'm going to bring the back back up. We're going to look at the base here in a minute. So again, this chair has three electrical function, uh, seven miles, front wheel drive. So that means if you, it's just really good for outside. It's also good for inside, but it's really good for outside because all the weight of the chair go, is transferred to this wheel so you have good traction, okay? You have a suspension for the front right here. You have a suspension. Let's put this over here so we don't see that suspension for the back you can see you can actually see the suspension if I push down you have four of these big shocks there's two here there's two more on the other side there's four big shocks this chair probably weighs right at 400 pounds so with those, these types of shock and the weight of the chair that's why you get such a nice ride okay there's an anchor point here you can't see it's behind the fender there's another anchor point behind the fork this is where you tie your chair if you're going to transport it on a vehicle on a lift and a trailer, whatever. This is where you, so you have four of those anchor points all around the chair. You have a motor right here. You can't see the motor because it's behind this cover, but you can see the, the handle right here. That's the end of the motor, okay? The motor starts here, goes all the way up to the middle of the wheel, okay? No chain, no belts, direct drive to the motor, to the, to the wheel. If I want to push this chair, well, you can see it's in gear. But let's just say you forgot to charge it. You have an issue, hopefully not. But you need to push it. You would turn the power off. And the reason you turn the power off, you want no resistance in the motor. Power's off. You see this little handle here? I'm going to push it down. What that does, you see? You have to do both motors on both sides, and you can wheel this chair around wherever you want to put it. When you're done, put this back up. You'll save yourself a lot of headache. Make sure you put it back in gear. Once you charge your chair, you want that back in gear. So you should do it as soon as you put it back where you're going to park it. Put it back up, okay? We're going to turn the power back on. We're going to look at the chair. I'm going to bring the legs in right now real quick. So if you're in the house, 
So if you're in the house, bring the legs in like that. All the way in, and then you can just turn in a circle like this. Let me just speed it up a little bit. So if you're in the house, you can turn a circle like this. So you can see, I'm going to have to speed up this chair. It's set up really slow right now. So this chair will turn in a complete circle uh, the, the way it is there. So if you're outside, again, leave your legs out. If you're outside, leave the legs out like this. Okay? Um, so the seat, we're going to talk about the seat, of course. So the seat on this chair is 18 by 18, but these seats can be adjusted. So if, you're, if you need a larger seat or you need a 16-inch seat or a 20, we, we can take these cushions off. We can expand these railings out and put a bigger cushion or smaller cushion. We can, we can adjust these chairs for you folks. You have a swing away joystick, so if you get to a dining table, you can get a lot closer. And if you're left-handed, we can switch everything to the left side and it'll swing to the left side. When you charge the batteries in this chair, you take your charger and you would plug it right below the joystick. And as soon as the light goes, you see the third one here, as soon as it's fully green, the charger will stop charging, okay? This chair has a total distance on one battery charge of about 15 miles. That's perfect condition. So if you're going fast, if you're outside going uphill, you're not going to get 15 miles, but you're going to get a long ways. So again, this is the Permobil F3 power chair. This power chair has the electric tilt, the electric recline, the electric legs, the swing away joystick, the flip up arm, the safety belt, the adjustable headrest, just a nice, nice power chair with six miles and it's ready to go. So this is the Permobil F3, it's black in color. <clears throat> this chair goes between six and 6.2 miles an hour. That's really fast and when you stop, it stops nice and it breaks within a few feet when you let go. It has electromagnetic brakes which brings the chair to a, a reduced speed to, to a stop within a couple feet and the chair does not go anywhere, it's in gear until you go forward again. No problem at all. So this chair has the electric tilt, electric recline, electric legs. Just I think it's got a six or seven miles on this chair, practically brand new uh, with the suspension. And this is a permobil chair, so it's high quality. So this one has the electric tilt, electric recline, electric feet. It has, you know, the color is matte black. Just a, just a good looking power chair. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We're co-owners of Mark's Mobility. I started this company in 1995. We sell many products, not just what you see in this video. If you have any questions or concerns, please call us at the number below at 800-677-6293. Thank you and have a wonderful day.